Hi again, Rocky here. In this video, I will show you what we have in the way of language-specific completion and document commenting. To quote from the Solidity Manual, Solidity contracts can use a special form of comments to provide rich documentation for functions, return values, and more. This special form is named Ethereum Natural Language Specification Format, or NatSpec. But before I can document a contract, I need to create one. So I'll start from creating one from scratch from one of the contracts shown before in the introduction. I hit Control N and I get a new uh, untitled document. And I click on plain text here and I'll set the language mode to be Solidity. And <coughs> uh, this enables our, uh, this enables the uh, completion features that are in the Solidity extension that I wrote. Okay, so PR, and already we see we're offered Pragma. It's a snippet, so I'll hit Tab there, and I need to enter the version. So we'll do greater than or equal five dot. What is it? Zero dot. Zero dot five dot ten. Oh, how about greater than or equal? Okay, and already we have a complete program here. Uh, it's not very useful, it's just a Pragma directive, but uh, you can see that we, we create a tree already for this. Let's continue. I don't know why I did that. So, okay, we have a snippet for contract. Let's try that. And should we convert live? And so already you see that, again, we have a complete contract. Um, again, not very useful, but, but it means that we do, are tracking the AST tree here. Try add a function uh, with a return value. Okay, and convert. Uh, a tab to move between the uh, uh, fields that need to be filled in. So you int amount. You can see it's coloring as I enter it. Version rate. Something interesting here. Now when I tab to external, it shows me the, the possibilities here. We want public. Uh, same thing with pure. Pure is OK, so I can just hit tab again. And for this, we want Okay, and again, we now have that function, which we can see here. Whoops. Here, and let's let's finish this. Return. And so, uh, and uh, again, uh, it picked up. So because there was a com uh, finished program, picked up a mount, and we can complete on that. The same thing is true with conversion rate. And boom, I'm done with recreating the contract that you saw before, uh, or the library function for that contract. Uh, so let me show the NatSpec uh, documenting. When I uh, uh, click on either, uh, uh, when I click on a contract, I, I can create a doc string for that. Uh, our dinky library contract. And I can do the same thing for the function. Doc string for function. And again, notice it got it filled in all the parameters there. In one of the solidity extensions that uh, the issues for that, this was contemplated using regular expressions, which is complicated and fragile. By making use of the AST, we have a solution that if you were to look at the code is very simple, but is also very reliable too. This concludes this demo. Um, what can be done in completion and other features that I've shown here really only scratches the surface of what's possible in 
and uh, there's a lot more than what I've shown you. Thanks for watching, and please upload the, the series. Upvoting will help me get funding and continue to do more ambitious work.